Hello folks, Rob here back at the Video Gadgets Journal once again and I know that your biggest frustration right now is Airshow and the fact that when you do recordings the playback is either a black screen or a grey screen. And I've been looking around for several solutions and I think I may have found another one but as always it comes with a drawback. The application I want you to try is mConverter Free Medias Converter by Bill Santiago and I'll leave a link in the description and this is a free application from the App Store. Now the process is going to be very similar to iConv when I showed you that video whereby you'll import the video into the application then convert it and then export it out. So first of all you need to import the video and simply choose the one from your camera roll that is the Airshow video, you'll be able to tell because it'll have a grey screen as a thumbnail. Then you want to tap on the video itself and tap on the convert option. To do this simply tap on the video and it will bring up a kind of iPod dial in the middle and you want to tap the middle convert option and then simply choose default. By leaving all the defaults that should convert it very quickly so then you'll have two videos, an imported one and a converted one. And if I very quickly tap on the video and play it you'll see that now instead of just getting a grey screen it's actually doing the playback and it has been converted which is fantastic but now we're going to run into the usual problem with free applications from the App Store, they are very limited. At this point we obviously want to get the video outside of the application onto your camera roll but when you try and do that it will say that you need to upgrade to the paid version, very frustrating as you well know. But there is one exporting method available to you and that's to email it to yourself. So if you tap on the email option it will bring up a message where you can attach the video and what I'm going to do is send the video to myself which is my own account which is attached to my Apple ID and that's tied up to my email application in the iOS device. So once I've sent the email all I need to do is go to my email account, refresh emails and wait for it to be sent there. So let's start refreshing my inbox and wait for the email to arrive and here it is. Once you receive the email with the video attachment you can long press on it and then save the video to your camera roll just like you would do with any other file. Now unfortunately you can't save the email as a draft and then go to your email application and download it there, it just doesn't work like that, I did try, you physically have to email it to yourself. Anyway there's the proof in today's camera roll, I have one video which is grey and has a 3.32 time length on it and then two videos, I downloaded a video twice by accident but that's the converted file which worked. So from my testing the conversion process works pretty well, the one problem is getting the video off the application. As far as I'm aware there are no limitations to the length of a video or how many videos you convert at once, it's just getting them onto your iOS device proper in order to upload it to YouTube or do whatever you want to do with it. Now yep I will agree with you, having to email the video to yourself is an absolute pain in the butt but I haven't found any perfect solutions just yet. So if you do have any post them in the comments below and I will keep a keen eye on this video and if I do find a solution that you suggest I will definitely credit you in a future video. Other than that it's still a waiting game, the developers are going to fix this but I'm just not sure when and when they do that will be the very first video I do. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.